Hello, this is Nick George with Clouds Diamond Sharpening just to show you an Anna's G modified. Um, there's a question on this video um, about adjusting the arm or the tension spring or the fork, whatever you want to call it, and then the armature um, from the distance from the field. So we'll just try to do this. Okay, first of all, let me just start. Um, there is no set position where this should be. All right, I mean, even from the factory, they're set to a factory condition. Um, but once you sharpen your blade, or if you don't sharpen your blade and you don't use oil, it makes grooves in there and this cooper has to work harder. And um, a new blade, a new blade will have more life, so it will be expanded. This is a used blade. It's been sharpened a few times. And as, as you sharpen it, this gets closer and closer, smaller and smaller, and this arm lifts up. So then you have to move this. But if you drop it, then you could bend this, the motor mount, or the blade mount. And then this adjustment, you can't set it to factory, because this is bent up. So that's why adjusting these clippers ain't as easy as just saying there's a position for it to be. I have to find the position. So this is a used clipper. It's not brand new. If everything was new on it, then maybe you could set it to a factory condition. And there, but you know, even some factory outliners don't work that well. Um, so let me go ahead and start by unplugging this. Okay, you see this arm, the distance, you can measure it and set it just like this one, but then have a new blade or an unsharpened blade or an unoiled blade, and that distance is gonna have to change to get your power. So what you need to do is loosen these three, adjust the power, tighten these two screws up, and then see how much power it has. But the power also matters about this arm. If this is too far down, you can adjust this anywhere you want and it's not gonna cut right. This could be too tight or too loose or not in the right position of the center of the blade. If you can't get it to the center of the blade, then you have a problem. You'll need to buy one of these or work on enough of them to know where a good adjustment should be. So let's just begin and I'll just try to show you the best I can, uh, the way I figure it out. So I go ahead and loosen these. loosen it up a little bit and then you can adjust this okay adjust it I think it's best at about a quarter inch to start out with and then go from there well remember this has got to be adjusted right so if it's too tight then you're not gonna be able to find so you have to know this has to have about one to two pounds of pressure on this blade that's it um, so if it has more than that, this will have to be closer to get the designated power. And if it's too loose, then you, it might rattle when it hits, if it's too loose. So adjusting this arm is not the best thing to do every time, especially if there's corrosion on your blade. You could do this whole thing identical to the way I do it, and it will still rattle or it could not even have enough power. There's a lot of different factors. So, so I set it about a quarter of an inch, right? Tighten up these two Phillips screws. Go ahead and plug it back in. Don't touch these, you'll shock yourself. If you shock yourself, it is not my problem. I'm sorry, you shouldn't have did this repair. This is an advanced repair. Um, so yeah. We'll just go by checking the power. See that? That's too close. Okay. But now you can adjust this tighter. Turn it on. Oh, that's still too close. So we're going to have to um, loosen it up and move it out a little bit. See, so this one doesn't take a quarter of an inch even though most of them do. 
it's just, you know, metal bends over time, and it, uh, yeah, it gets bent, and all these pieces ain't perfectly new. Now, if you want to set it at a factory, this old one, to the factory, go ahead and just replace all the pieces. back it off more. See now we're almost at a now we're almost at a half inch. And if you dropped it and you're having a problem before you do all this just go ahead and make sure you can see that field insert because what happens is this falls off. So here's like a half inch. There we go, that's, that's correct. But look how weak it is. It's barely moving. See, so I'm gonna have to find the adjustment. Now, since I know this arm's pretty far off, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this. Okay, so there's a little less tension and it should be able to move better. Look at the power now. See, there's a lot of power. But look how far that arm is, I don't really like that. Um, see, so this is an older clipper, and obviously it needed to be set farther. Um, so, you know, you gotta find out the way. So when you want this to be in there, but not rattling around. What a, see, so that's perfect. Um, and you can look at the arm, and you can set your arm like that, and hopefully it's right. There you go, here's how far it is. See, and then when if it's too close, it starts rattling. But you see, like, this arm gets a bent over time, because it's on a spring and it's constantly pushing out. Then the alternating current pulls it back in. So it's rattling all the time. So if this is a little more bent than mine, you're gonna have to adjust this even farther. If it's not, then you will need it closer. And if you can't get the de designated power, even when it's close, it's probably this arm it is too tight onto this cutter blade. Well, I hope that helped guys. It's basically the best way I can tell you. I've worked on these for 14 years. Um, really it takes adjustments you just don't have a setting you can set them at and all of them work I'm sorry I wish it was that easy and I wish it was that way but also when you get new tires on your car even though the rubber is perfectly new they have to add weights on it to balance your tire even though they might have the same identical amount of rubber but there's flaws or something even with clippers I mean you know, he could, Andis could mess up making this arm, it could be a bent a little more. Then you'll have to send it to me and I'll just readjust it until it works correctly and really powerful. So, uh, let me get some tape here. And I do not recommend you guys working on these because these, if these are not correct, in the correct position, it'll hit this metal thing and shock you. So you gotta keep that in mind. Plug it and put it back together, and uh, hopefully it works right. If not, I'll be taking it back apart. All right, now we're gonna test it and see if it's set right. See, so now we just did all those adjustments, and if your blade is dull, you did it all for nothing because you ain't gonna know if it's set correctly because your blade ain't gonna cut. So when I sharpen a blade, they cut, and then and then I adjust it. I don't try to adjust a dull blade to cut. It's a waste of your time. So if you can tell, it's quiet and it has quite a bit of power. Um, shoot. Oil. Oil is your best friend.
Okay, so this feels pretty good. It's cutting really good. So there we go. I uh, wish I had more air to show y'all. I mean, You guys seen me cut all my hair off my arm because there is no more hair. I'm telling you, if you never got your blade sharpened, just go ahead and get it sharpened. Just try it. And rather than buying a new blade, you'll pay $6.50. I would recommend gathering up a couple of bites so you can compensate for your shipping um, but yeah that's good so it's powerful and it's quiet can't stop it unless you push really hard and this might be okay with just a little bit looser tension see so it won't get looser now so now this is where adjustments come in I pop this arm up a little bit Pop this cutter back on. See, so now it's not touching the blade. See? So if this was a new blade, this tension might be good because a new blade will have more tension. Or it'll be thicker, so there'll be more tension. So, anyway. Well, now I'm going to tighten this down to sit right in that blade. That's it. No more. There we go, there's even more power. Yeah, that's really powerful. Yeah, let's uh, go down to my legs. See y'all later, keep your blades oiled, keep them looking good, and keep on modifying. See you later.